Hello, my name is Marcel Blugmont. I'm Director of Product Management at Vico Software. In the previous three levels about cost planning, uh, I talked about how you enter cost plan information in the, in the cost planner view. Uh, then we looked at how you compare versions of your cost plan and how you copy information from one version to another version. And in the previous level, I explained how you can use takeoff items and takeoff quantities as variables in your cost plan. In this level, I'll tackle two topics. Uh, the first one is uh, the Excel import function. And the second big topic is um, how you use uh, target costing or the support for target costing in Vico Office by defining a budget and then comparing uh, your current status against that budget. In this video, I will explain uh, how you can use cost content that you may have collected over the years in Excel spreadsheets in your Vico Office project. Topics in this video are an introduction to the Excel import view, which can be used to import cost information, but also takeoff items or constructability issue information. I'll show you how you select cost plan information by simply selecting the data type that is included in the spreadsheet column and then selecting the whole column. And to complete the copy from Excel, we will use the compare and update function. After opening a project, select the import from Excel workflow item from the workflow panel. This opens the Excel import view set. Then select a, the cost planner target view and that opens an empty cost planner view in the top half of the screen. Next we open the spreadsheet that contains the information that we want to import. And I'm opening the training 5D data set here. The content that we look at is the content in sheet 1. You can change the sheet that is currently active with the sheet selector. The next step is to select type of the data in a specific column. For column A we know that it's a code. After selecting the code type click on the column header and remove any cells that are containing information that is not desired in the target view. We'll now add a second layer code by increasing the hierarchy level by one. And click OK and repeat the first step by selecting the whole column. When we repeat that for the next five, or actually four, code levels, uh, we can gradually populate an entire code structure. And that code structure becomes visible in the preview pane in the top half of the screen. The codes are automatically nested uh, due as a result of their position in the spreadsheet. So lower level codes are automatically included if they are in a row below the higher level code. The descriptions are automatically associated with the correct code because they are in the same row and the same applies to unit, uh, the, the units for the consumption as well as the consumption factor itself. And every time we select a data type, it is followed by selecting the column header to make sure that all of the content in that column is included in the target view. The source quantity column contains an interesting piece of information. It can be a quantity, but it can also be a formula in the format toy.talk so that you bring in predefined formulas that can then be used to link your cost plan information to the takeoff items and takeoff quantities that you have in Takeoff Manager. We've now completed the selection and we can review, validate, and calculate the content. And if all that is working correctly, we can use the compare and update function to bring in the information from the preview 
into the current project. As you can see, all of the data that we brought in is non-existing in the current project, indicated by red cells. And we select Update All to copy the Excel import information to the current project. After finalizing of the copy operation, we can then go into the plan cost view and review the information that we just brought in with the Excel import function. And as you can see, we have now a full cost plan brought in from the Excel file that we used. In this video, I explained how you start the Excel import view set and how you select the desired preview for the data that you want to use from an Excel spreadsheet. Data gets copied to the preview by first selecting a data type and then selecting the column or the cells that contain the data that should be copied. We use the compare and update function to perform the copy operation from preview into our project. 